Dream said this. I have one of the oldest audiences in all of Minecraft YouTube. The vast majority of people I get recognized by on the street are college aged. And usually dudes being like, what the f***? It's Dream! Hi. That's me. I'm a month away from turning 26 and I watch all of Dream's videos. I'm a huge fan of Manhunt. I love it for the competitiveness and ingenuity and the skill. It's something to talk about, but for the past couple years, Dream hasn't been uploading much at all and now we know why. I'm not here to do a breakdown of whether or not I think that Dream is telling the truth or not, but I realized that the type of people that were accusing Dream or were taking sides online didn't include myself or really any of my friends who watch Dream. Our demographic was kind of excluded because, well, I'm not on Twitter. I have an account that I made when I made this channel, but I almost never use it. It, and I became so dead on the account that I don't even have Twitter installed on my phone. It's been a long time since it actually has been. The point is that when all of this drama was going on, I didn't know of it. To me, Dream was just not uploading. I do have Instagram and I saw that Dream had been uploading videos of his music, so I figured that could have been part of the reason. He also did his fake face reverse reveal, which admittedly I fell for. I thought it was real, but I didn't know about all that was going on on Twitter in the meantime. I made videos breaking down why I thought Dream wasn't uploading and, well, they were largely wrong because, well, again, I didn't know what was going on. I was so out of the loop that in the midst of one of the allegations, I got asked about it and, well, I didn't even know what he was talking about. I tried to watch a few videos of people explaining the situation, both for, against, and neutral, and I honestly just got confused. It didn't seem like there was any real situation going on as no one was providing evidence enough to get a solid conclusion, neither on Dream's part or the contrary, but it just seemed to be a bunch of hearsay. So I kind of just ignored it. I mean, it is Twitter after all, and it's kind of known as the garbage pit of the internet for a reason. So yeah, I'm clueless, but again, what What's the point of this video? I just want Dream to make Minecraft videos again. Uh, my demographic that loves Dream for his manhunt and his Minecraft videos, well, I feel like our opinion really isn't talked about or mentioned at all, and so I'm here to share that. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there, millions in fact, who probably share the same sentiment as me. Dream has posted some banger videos since the Five Hunters grand finale, but the amount of uploads that he's had have been few and far between. As a fan, I've been super bummed out because of this. It's a bummer watching a creator that puts out great content slowly fall away because of something completely un unrelated to his or her content. Now, again, I don't know the whole situation about what's happening. I've watched the truth video three times all the way through to try to grasp exactly what's going on, more honestly trying to figure out the beginnings of where these allegations are coming from and what they even are. And I commend Dream for being honest and open, but I just want to see Minecraft videos. That's it. It's kind of sucked not getting the uploads like we used to. It sucked seeing the Dream SMP dwindle out almost pitifully because the dream of the Dream SMP wasn't there making content. It sucked not having things to talk about pertaining to the excitement of his challenge videos. I mean, I miss the days when Dream's biggest controversy was whether or not he actually faked his manhunts. Yeah, you totally forgot that was a debate, didn't you? On my channel, I make some challenge videos, but the thing that I'm known for, if you even know who I am, is I'm the guy who talks about Dream's manhunts. I enjoy breaking them down, deep diving, trying to find the specifics of what makes him great or where he failed or what makes the hunters great. And I love doing those videos. They're honestly my favorite ones to make. And the other videos I have on my channel kind of just became fillers because Dream stopped uploading. I can't see I get what Dream is going through because I've never had anything like this happen to me. But the point of this video isn't about that. It's simple. Come back, Dream. Speaking for everyone like me who are huge fans of your videos, please, just come back.